I love how when somebody gives you a gift card, it gives you like this high, but also like this excuse of, I could spend whatever I want because my gift card's gonna take a large chunk of it, you know, off of my credit card bill, which is what happens a lot. This is bugging me. Do I want it open? No, I don't like that. I'll just close it. I feel like the Reaper right now, but I'm cold. So I'm stalling. I'm stalling because I'm embarrassed to show you guys what I spend my money on sometimes. But I've also wanted to make this video because I know a couple of you guys are like, hey, like we love to treat ourselves here and there. Just let us know what's worth treating ourselves on. I am no stranger to that. While I love drugstore makeup, don't get me wrong, I love it. I love finding gems for like great prices. I'm pretty sure that's my high. Like coupons and savings are basically the same thing as heroin. I could be wrong, I don't know. I really only ever tried one, um, heroin. Mm. Joking. I got a gift card not that long ago and I went to Sephora and I actually filmed an entire video on this and y'all are gonna kill me because this happens way too much on my channel and it's very embarrassing and I hate that it happens, but it happens. I'm, I I hate the way this looks. I hate the way this looks. Oh, weird. Like I said, I'm cold and I can't deal with it right now. Okay, so I went to Sephora not that long ago because I was gifted a gift card and the gift card had like 50 bucks on it. So when I get a gift card, I kind of take it as like, let me splurge with my gift card on what I won't splurge with my own money on myself. Like, does, does that make sense? And that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what I did. And here we are now. The one brand that I've always wanted to test out, and I think it's like the epitome of luxury. And like, like to me, this brand has always called my name. This brand to me makes me feel like, like, like Jeffrey Estrellita. You know, pretend this is a Gucci tracksuit. And this is Gucci. And this is Diamond. It says Gucci. So when I bought this stuff, it made me feel like real, like real bougie, uh, but then incredibly broke because I only had a $50 gift card. I bought the foundation and then I went about my money like I really could spend it. I tend to do that. The brand I'm talking about is Dior. I love Dior's aesthetic. I love Dior's look. They're edgy but elegant and they are just the epitome of like luxury. In my opinion, like I, I love Dior. Their whole vibe, everything. And I've always wanted to try Dior foundations and I went to go get the Air Flash one and they didn't have it in my shade. So I got this one in the shade 2WO. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is such a good foundation. We're gonna get into that for sure, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about how all this came about. I had a little treat yourself occasion. I decided to just sit down and kind of talk to you guys about the stuff that I find that is more higher up, that is more either luxury or high end that I think is so worth your money. And uh, a couple of things that I'm like, you can save your money on. Actually, it's only one thing. Let's get into the video, okay? I'm talking so much and I'm literally not saying anything. Okay, let's start off with the Dior Backstage Foundation. I have had my eye on this foundation for the longest time. And like I said, this is one of those products that I feel like I would never really buy for myself, but I would absolutely love if it was gifted to me. And with a gift card, of course I'm gonna buy it. It's just one of those things, guys. When I walked into Sephora with my little gift card, I was like, let me treat myself to something that I really would be, that really would be a treat to me. And like I've been saying, Dior is like my go-to. Like YSL, Givenchy, all those luxe brands for sure have their own aesthetic. For some reason, Dior has always caught my attention and I've always wanted to try their makeup for some reason it's always been very alluring to me so whenever I can treat myself I really did I love this foundation so much I hate it I hate it because it's so good I hate it because I feel like I haven't tried anything as good as this in a very long time and I hate it the most because I don't hate it. I sound like such a rom-com right now and I get it. I get it. I feel like that movie with the Heath Ledgers and the Julia Stiles. Not the dancing one with the dead mom. The other one. Wait, is she in that one? The one where she's like, you know what I hate the most about you? Is that I don't hate you at all. Not even a little bit. That movie. The guy who played the Joker was in it, I'm pretty sure. Something, things I hate about you. I think it was 11. I don't know. I'm not a native speaker. But I hate this foundation because I don't hate it at all. I love this foundation. It's so 
so good it wears forever the coverage is something that you can build up it's so customizable well, you guys know i'm a medium coverage girl i like my skin to still look like skin and feel like skin not only is this super lightweight but it, the first layer it's perfect for me and you can build it up to get a full coverage and even building it up it still looks pretty natural it's a very gorgeous ultra long wearing foundation this doesn't move you guys this doesn't move when i went to take this off at night i think i even have a clip of me talking to my boyfriend about it but when i went to kind of remove it at night it looked like i had just put it on like the foundation stays in a way it just doesn't move it doesn't cake it doesn't crease it doesn't get too oily and i have oily skin and it works so well with my skin my cat was a big fan of it as well it's just a really good foundation i love the way it looks it makes you look really like porcelain yet it's not heavy very, it's a very good foundation it's a 40 dollars foundation i know i know the one thing that i will give this foundation though however is that you do get more than an ounce you get 1.6 fluid ounces the standard for every other foundation basically ever on the market is one ounce you get 1.6 and it's 40 dollars. it's not a crazy amount but for a foundation you guys it's a pretty stupid amount but then again it's christian dior and i'm just letting you guys know if you guys have been looking for a really good foundation that's gonna wear that's gonna feel lightweight that's gonna look so gorgeous that's gonna honestly like just look so beautiful this is such a good foundation cons though because it does have cons there's a bunch of alcohol in this you have to prime moisturize really even if you have oily skin prime and moisturize really well with this foundation the first time i ever put it on i put it on with not not as strong primer but not a moisturizing one either but today and now that i've gotten used to it i primed with my nivea hydrating primer and i used this guy which is super hydrating this is the clinique dramatically different hydrating jelly this is just a really pretty foundation i think it's so worth it if you guys have been eyeing it and are just kind of like waiting for that stamp of approval i'm here to give it to you guys i think it's so worth every single penny in my mind i was like i'll buy it and if i don't like it i'll return it and it's fine but I, I i liked it a lot and i think that's what i hated about it the most another dior product that i bought i bought this i know i bought this because this was 40 dollars. my gift card was 50 dollars. so okay maybe this was i think 45 some big ass number this is not my receipt some stupid number it was either like 45 or something i hate how good this is I truly also loathe how good this is because the packaging is not the fanciest but then you got the formula and the little stamp honestly like the emblems everything about it it's cute it also is kind of pretty at the same time because it has like that minimalist kind of kim k packaging i don't know i'm telling you guys i have such a love hate relationship with christian dior but it's all boils down to it's because i love it so much i don't like loving things that much i'm gonna go ahead and grab the gold one just so i can show you guys like how pretty this is this formula is ridiculous it looks expensive and i know that sounds so weird but it does like look how pretty that is do you see that? Oh my god, it leaves you looking wet almost. It's just, it's so pretty. I didn't highlight today a lot because I wanted to show you guys like how this is looking, but this is just so ridiculously pretty. I hate it. I'll go ahead and show you guys what the pink does. The pink is such a pretty little blush topper. Literally just a small amount brings so much life to your face. And then with the very, very, very white one, I'll show you guys what I like to do with this. I grab this and literally hit the highest points of my face. So just like right here. Look at that. Look at what it does. It gives you so much intensity. Look at those cheekbones. A bitch feels like Maleficent, which I want to see really bad. Like, I almost don't want to turn too hard or I feel like I'm going to slice my camera lens. Also, another item that I was like, I'm probably going to return this. I'm not so worth it they're dior both of these combined a ridiculous number for two things at sephora it's three items scanned and i was already over a hundred dollars how does that happen and how does one allow it to happen it's not my fault i am so rounded by enablers i am a product of the system okay i bought all this that i'm about to show you in the very same day 
Charlotte Tilbury. I have been wanting to splurge on Charlotte Tilbury. It's another Christian Dior brand for me. Like Charlotte Tilbury, while it looks very like grandma packaging, it's like that bitch of a grandma. You know, like the grandma that all the other grandmas were jealous of. The grandma that's just that one. This is a very good brand. What I'm saying is I've always wanted to splurge on her, her lip products. The last time I wore her lip liner was on the set of the Walmart campaign that I did a few months back. And let me tell you guys, when I was sitting in that makeup chair and they were using all high-end products on me basically when she lined my lips with this and told me what shade it was i felt like a princess i just love the fact that they were using a charlotte tilbury lip liner on me and i remember in that second feeling like i know she's lining my lips because they look more defined but it's one of those colors that is your lips but better which is such a passive aggressive term if you really think about it such a bitchy little term it's like your lips only better. You know what I'm saying? Like people say that all the time. Like it's a nice thing to say and it's really not. It's got a bite to it. But this is effing great. Like this combination is great and honestly I was just hooked on the lip liner that when I went in I was like I'll just buy the lip liner. Because I have a list on my phone of things I eventually want to buy myself and Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk is on that list. But then the lipstick was literally right next to it which was a God, because then I couldn't get away from both of them. This is the combination I'm wearing on my lips right now. I'm wearing a little lip topper, Fever Pitch by ColourPop, but this is the color that is lining my lips and really defining them, and it's so pretty. And Charlotte Tilbury's formula is such a nice, smooth, opaque, not clumpy, not gritty, not heavy, just a really nice formula. I'm just letting you guys know, if you guys are thinking about buying Charlotte Tilbury products and are like, I don't know if it's really worth it. It is, you guys. I think her tones are so unique to her. Her formula is so unique also, and it's very well made. Her lip liner will not bleed, it won't run. It's creamy enough that it will not pull at your lips, but it's waxy and tough enough that it won't just slip and slide everywhere. It's so good, and I am going to use this down until I literally cannot sharpen it anymore because it's just, it's that good. The Charlotte Tilbury powder, I'm just gonna talk about this real quick because I've already talked about this so many times, and this isn't something I bought with all of these other products. This is something that I've been wanting to splurge on and little by little I'm taking stuff off my list But also adding stuff on which is so bad I have no cure. This is such a good powder. I use this today. This, if you want blurring, mannequin, porcelain skin, this is everything. It's very lightweight. It's very blurring. It brightens, but it also smooths. This is like literally putting an Instagram filter on your face. It's just so nice. I bake and then I set with this just all over the face, but really focus on my most porous areas. And something happens that is nothing short of magic. Givenchy as a brand is also something I'm just very attracted to. I think it's the black and I'm almost positive it's the studs. I love a lot of Givenchy products and they have sent me product in the past and I've been very grateful and a lot of it is very hit or miss. This for some reason it's ridiculously so good and the reason I'm mentioning this is because I own nothing else like it. Nothing else even really comes close. This is the Givenchy La Cizan powder, healthy glow powder in the shade 02. It has another name. I'm not going to say it though because I will butcher it and I'm going to embarrass myself and I don't want to do that. It's so pretty. So basically what this is it's a I cheated as a highlight but this is a such a natural highlight to the point where you can set your face with this guys and it's gonna look so natural I'll show you guys so I'm gonna grab a bunch of it and just kind of hit right here but even like if I were to dab this on my chin it just gives such a natural subtle glow which I'm not completely for you guys but when you are doing a, a very subtle glowy soft look this is everything I always reach for this bronze and another cool thing about it is I have dunked and dunked and dunked my brush in this and I find no end and this doesn't wear off as much like it's a little worn off guys but I use this product and I feel like nothing happens like an infinite amount of product I know it's not the case but that's one of the reasons why I think it's so worth your money I really like this guy if you guys are into really natural highlights you just want to give your skin the most natural flush and you have the money and you want to treat yourself there is nothing like this nothing that I own is even remotely close and the last product I want to talk about is the last thing from Dior that I bought when I bought everything else that was such an expensive day 
I will never forget it and neither will my creditors. This is one thing that I wish I could return, but I'm not going to uh, because I just, I, I mean, I already bought it. I've been using it like crazy because I feel like I have to, but this is the Dior Show Brow Gel. Um, this is the Pump and Brow Gel. Do I think this is worth your money? No. I think the Givenchy Mr. Groom Brow is so much more worth your money. The only reason I'm not showing this to you in this video is because that's the one I keep at home. It's because that's the one I use almost every single day. When I just get ready at home, the makeup that makes it to my house, guys, that's makeup I can't live without. So that should tell you something. The Givenchy Mr. Groom Brow lives in my cabinet and it does not move. It's such a good brow gel. This is tinted, so it does add some tint, but honestly, this is so expensive for what you're getting. Benefit has an item just like this that's a lot less expensive than this. This is almost $30. And I got this by accident because I reached for their brow pencil because I've heard great things about their Dior Show brow pencil. This I grabbed on accident and I was like, we're here, might as well use it. I used it, I liked it, but it's nothing incredible. Also, I do not find that this holds your brows in place like my other brow gels do and give me that nice feathered boy brow look. This doesn't do that. My brows will kind of fall and I don't want that, you guys. But that's the end of this video, you guys. That's all I'm going to talk about. I know these videos aren't for everybody. I know they stir up actually quite some controversy and I don't mean to do that in any which way. I'm just trying to let you guys know like what's good, what I love, what I think is worth your money so you guys don't go wasting it like I unfortunately did. Don't know why I said unfortunately like that. So yeah, I'm just here to save you guys some money. I'll save you guys some time and some headaches and some calls from your creditors. Thank you.